Italian climber Marco Confortola was up Mount Daulagiri when the Himalayan rain shook on April the 25th. His second ascent of the more than 8,000 meter superpeak this time was to deliver recyclable supply containers. We talked to him back at home in Valfurva in the Italian Alps. He has survived many such climbs, but this was his first earthquake. He says at first it wasn't clear what was going on. Then with the continuous tremor we realized it was an earthquake. Ten minutes later there was a strong shock and we understood the discharge of energy must have caused a disaster down in the valleys. So you decided to leave the base camp. Walking up and down mountains is your job, but what spurred the decision here? Helicopters were available at Mount Everest to retrieve severely injured people. We were well off physically. Our descent was very challenging because there were collapsed roads, bridges, paths and avalanches. It wasn't easy, but it seemed logical, as I'm a helicopter rescuer, that the people who really needed it should have priority, including the local population. Confortella's group took 48 hours to descend from 4,500 meters, the usual times four days. I saw devastation, countless homes and whole villages collapsed to the ground. So much sadness and devastation. But I also saw the Nepalese people ready to rise again, with rubble all around them, but already trying to prepare to rebuild. What stays in my mind the most is the smile of a little girl in a village whose home had been destroyed. I gave her some candy and medicine because she had dysentery. This little girl's smile was to say thank you. These are people who have not given up. They've been laid low by the earthquake, but they want to return to normal living quickly. Italian climber Marco Confortola was up Mount Daulagiri when the Himalayan rain shook on April the 25th. His second ascent of the more than 8,000 meter superpeak this time was to deliver recyclable supply containers. We talked to him back at home in Valfurva in the Italian Alps. He has survived many such climbs, but this was his first earthquake. He says at first it wasn't clear what was going on. Then with the continuous tremor we realized it was an earthquake. Ten minutes later there was a strong shock and we understood the discharge of energy must have caused a disaster down in the valleys. So you decided to leave the base camp, walking up and down mountains